God, please, may Jesus use you to heal my stepfather. Man of God, please. He loves the Lord so much. For how long has it been like this? He had a, a terrible, uh, he was hit by a log. He was a logger and it blew his lungs, blew him open. And they airlifted him and they had to remove his liners and staples. He's got staples holding himself together inside. So he uses the machine? Worse to where the machines I feel can't, like I'm going to die. Can't, they can't. I feel I want God to save me. I don't want to die. You will not die, but live to testify to the goodness of God. He has been using this machine. Yes, it, uh, it takes the oxygen, concentrates it from the air so that it goes into his bloodstream, and it's they don't make him strong enough to to keep him going and so they have to put him on the bottles for, and they go too fast and then uh eventually uh he has a monitor that was fighting me all the way okay so what do you want jesus christ to do for you now He'll be able to serve you in every way I can. The oxygen is what keeps him. Otherwise, it stops his extremities. And the, he, you slowly die when the oxygen can't get into your blood. His lungs won't hold oxygen for his blood. He's a prisoner of his own home. He hasn't been able to, to walk. He just stays home. That's all he does. He doesn't even have a wheelchair because he just stays home. And just breathes on the machine just goes to his room and to the kitchen that's all he does restore him lord back to the original position in which you created him to be continue to watch the screen the in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Can you remove him? Este hombre ha estado sufriendo por cirrosis hepática, depresión, apnea de sueño y ha estado usando una máquina por mucho tiempo para respirar. Only the Lord knows, and I know, I've only been up to 50. This is awesome! Vic, you have no oxygen tank by you. No. It's been one year. How are you feeling? Awesome. How long did you have this oxygen tank by you that was permanently with you at all times? 15 years. I was supposed to die last year. Apostle saved my life. God saved my life. I want to ask you, what would you advise people that are here tonight in expectation? Maybe they're in a hopeless situation or those that are watching on live stream. Vic, what would you tell them? I want to tell you all something. Last year, before Christmas, I was supposed to die. I came here from Sister Michelle, my angel, brought me to Apostle. He healed me. Okay? The Lord healed me through Apostle. Amen? I can't hear you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I gotta tell you guys something. Jesus Christ is very real. You have to believe, 
You have to have faith, and you have to follow through. Amen? I have one last question for you. Through all this 15 years, were doctors able to help in such a way for, to remove the oxygen tank away from you permanently? No. The only thing they could do is keep me doped up and out of pain. They said I was going to die. <laughs> That's the Lord talking through me. And just remember what I got to say. Love God, have faith, and follow through. Because if you don't, you might as well forget about it. Just follow through. I love you all. Amen. Give God a hand of applause.